Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another haul to show you um, from Walmart, uh, a buck or two, and my from my local uh, scrapbooking store. Um, <clears throat> the store is called Unique. I will link their um, their information down below so you can go check them out um uh, so onto the haul i only picked up one food item from uh walmart um i picked up this um bag of hershey eggies uh i love these these are quite dangerous or quite addictive so i picked those up uh, and that's it from walmart um and i also went to um my local uh buck or two um, and uh, it's, it was a while since I've been in there, so I wanted to check it out. Um, <clears throat> I did pick up um, a few more beads. Um, like I mentioned in my last video, I'm going to try making some chunky charms. And this is what I had found. Um, I picked up uh, a pack of these pearl beads. Uh, I think I picked these up before. These are really pretty. Uh, they're of a gray tricolor mix so I picked those up um, I also picked up um, a pack of these pink um, beads and um, spacers and there's cording in here as well um, I mainly bought these for the beads to add to my collection again these are by Craft Medley uh, now a buck or two is a little bit more expensive than let's say uh, a Dollar Tree uh, I can't remember the price of these. These were at least close to $2, I believe. Um, but I picked those up. <clears throat> and I picked up these green ones, which I really like. So, yeah, I can uh, definitely take these apart and use these in projects. So I picked those up. And I was looking for lobster claws. And unfortunately, I could only find these gold ones. Uh, but I think I do have some gold chain in my stash, so I picked up two of these. Um, I was hoping to find silver. You don't get a lot in a, in a pack, so there's like 10, I believe, in each pack. So I picked up two. Um, I figure why not. And I also picked up um, this long, flat-nosed um, pliers. Um, I think I have something similar to these in my stash. Um, <clears throat> so I picked up uh, possibly an extra one um, just to just to have on hand when I uh, make the chunky charms. So I picked those up. Um, and that's it from a buck or two. Um, and on to the tiny haul uh, from my local scrapbooking store. So um, they They've, the store has been closed um, for for a while um, because um, here in Ontario we had a lockdown for quite some time. They were only doing um, they were only doing uh, online orders and, and curbside pickup, uh, but you can finally walk into the store. So uh, I ended up walking into that store tonight, uh, <clears throat> and um, I picked up couple of these uh, distress inks. Um, this is a brand new one. Uh, I think this uh, was released just before Christmas, I think. I can't remember, but um, uh, this is brand new actually. It's called Cra Crackling Campfire. Uh, it's by Tim Holtz. They did have this in the oxide um, version as well, but I just picked up the distress ink. Um, so I picked that up and to add to my collection and of course black soot i'm always using um black uh soot in my projects to do some distress to do some distressing um so pick that up and uh lastly i had picked up this gorgeous um paper stack from graphic 45 um this one is from the elegance collection. Uh, it's got a Paris uh, theme to it. Uh, I'm pretty sure Tina K, if you're watching this, you'll absolutely love this. Um, 
I figure I can pair this up with a, a lot of items that I have in my stash. I do have a wooden stamp, which I hauled from Michaels quite a while ago um, with the Eiffel Tower, and I figure this will be great to pair up with that. And um, I'm, I'm planning to use this for Valentine's Day uh, paper crafting. I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. I'm just going to do a quick flip through. Uh, I, this was $16.99 actually. It's not bad for Graphic 45. They did have the 12 by 12, uh, but I only picked up the 8 by 8. This is the size uh, of this uh, paper stack. Uh, and, it, and again, this was the very last one on their shelves, and I was really glad to pick it up. So I'm just going to do a quick flip through. I'm not very good at doing uh, flip throughs, but I will try my best, guys. So, yeah, it's gorgeous, gorgeous paper. It's very vintagey looking. Um, I love it. I don't know what it is with Graphic 45 paper, especially. It has a certain smell to it. It's kind of hard to explain it, but I just absolutely love the smell of their paper. There's a gray and black striped there, which is so up my alley. And I just love this paper stack because it's paired up with black, and that's that's what I love, uh, color paired up with black. I think it's a great uh, contrast. So, of all the papers at the uh, that I had seen at the store, this really popped up. Um, caught my eye actually so yeah this had to come home with me sorry I'm not doing a good job um, it's funny though um, I had uh, packed away my tripod uh, thinking I was not going to make any videos before I moved but so I've been propping up my camera onto um, Kleenex boxes and so forth so so if the camera shakes a little bit I apologize but my tripod is packed away until I move so isn't that gorgeous? And here's some cut aparts. I don't know if you can see that. And of course you can use the back of the uh, graphic 45 paper. Um, so yeah, that is the paper stack I had picked up. Uh, this Again, this is a 8x8 eight by, eight, uh, by Graphic 45. It's from the Elegance Collection. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing around with this. Um, so yeah, that is my haul. Hope everybody's doing well, and I will catch you in the next video. Stay safe, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye now.